Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm actually glad we're here with Connor because we've got some work to do, it seems, to repair... Potentially repair our relationship with, uh, the Lieutenant. Now, uh, last time we were here, I think we realized that there might be a couple of things that we could find out here before we talk to this Amanda. So I'm gonna see, considering she's over there, I'm gonna go somewhere else and just see what else is around here. Try to get some insights as to who exactly she is. Yeah, like, what is this thing? Oh, interesting. Okay. Remember how, uh... In Jericho, when they held each other's hands and they kind of, like, revealed their... Inner... Self. Well, now, that's doing the same thing. The other things to consider uh, regarding Jericho, like that uh, that model of android that is like the the leader there that we had to convince. He looks. Whoa! What was that? He looks like, um, that first android from the rooftop. But it could just be the same model, and that's something that now is, like... ...on my mind, that... ...there could just be, like, you know, let's say there's... ...a hundred or two hundred variants of how they look. You could be seeing, like, all types of different... ...quote-unquote personalities in the same body. Kinda creepy. Hello, Amanda. Kyra, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? So she's always been trusted for us, and... Yeah, I don't know. Something's weird. Something feels... Congratulations, different. Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Oh. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. Pity you let it self-destruct. Okay, I tried my best. His last words. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with Lieutenant developing? Well, after that moment, not great. He is openly hostile towards me and continues to show no interest in the investigation. Cooperating with him is a real challenge. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Seems like she's really pulling the strings. Like she's involved at a higher level. Yeah, things are definitely tense. I'm sure he's gonna be like, he's upset. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to back myself and say like, listen. Um, 
89% chance is pretty good. <laughs> he's not going to want to hear that, but... Oh, he's got a pup in there. Could obviously go to the front door, but what fun is that? I'd rather sneak inside his house. Imagine you look outside, you see Connor staring in. I'm just gonna check this other side because I'm curious. Not too often we just get to spy on somebody, you know? Whoa! Okay, okay. Lieutenant Anderson! Let's get in there. Okay, so f I guess front door would have seen that we couldn't even. He was not answering. Easy. Easy, buddy. Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. Oh, <laughs> that would be scary. <laughs> Yeah, my dog would do the same thing. You'd probably help him. Somebody breaks in. You give me a treat, I'll carry all your stuff for you. What has he got there? What is- what? Oh, wait, what? He didn't shoot himself. There's no blood. Scotch whiskey. One bullet remaining. Okay, he did not do it. Traces of alcohol. No signs of trauma. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma? <laughs> Wake up, oh, Lieutenant. he's not gonna be he's not gonna be happy that we're here right now. It's me, Connor. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I have to warn I'm you, sorry, this may be unpleasant. But I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and can't to the bathroom. God. Shut up. Attack! <laughs> Attack! Yeah, he's doing great guarding your place. Yep. Okay. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, you think? Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. I don't think he has any control. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. Doing? I don't want a bath. Thank you. You don't have Sorry, a choice. Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Well, that would hurt. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. I like how we went there first. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! You know, speaking about maybe having multiple, um... I'm gonna tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Uh-oh. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some Oh, air. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. 
I notice on the front of our jacket, we've got uh, a serial number there. See that? 313-248-31751. And I'm wondering if that has ever changed or if we could maybe see that on other androids. And maybe that's like the unique identifier of like that model. So as an example, if we have multiple RK800s, I know we're a prototype, but for the sake of arguing, that would be the unique identifier of the RK800, you know? Just saying, that could be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. Okay, bring him clean clothes. Let me, let me go play with the dog for a second. Sumo? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, good boy. Way to, like, manage the house. You're doing great. Quit looking at me, Connor. God, so creepy. I don't know why he does, he does that sometimes. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Okay, we're going... <laughs> Hippie, stripy, or streaky? I think hippie fits him pretty good. I shouldn't be snooping, but I am. Oh, he's not doing so hot. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, here's where we can snoop. Okay, so here's another magazine. This isn't really going to learn a lot about Hank, I don't think, but we'll go through it. Time to pull the plug. College ball. Should varsity athletes accept sponsorship? New touchdown replay technology, 100% accurate. A recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we're surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. I agree with this. Gorgansky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social interaction is the leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on for your Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The upgrade costs 150 bucks but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults. Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology. I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go outside and talk to someone. There is there is a point where we'll cross and be like, like it's all tech, you know? Sales of Android intimate partners are exploding. Okay. Sales of Android intimate partners are exploding. Android's capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep stores stocked. Uh, though the idea seemed far-fetched initially, Cyber Life's gamble has paid off. These androids offer no nothing less than a full partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's record divorce rate seemed to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than with a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Yeah, see, like, you think about the, the relationship one is obvious, but the decline in the birth rate, if that became popular, that's crazy scary. But I guess right now, like, this world is overpopulated anyway.
And so, maybe that's not such a bad thing. But how much is too much? What's the, where do you want to be, you know? I'm gonna guess this is like, metal. No, autumn blues. All right. Into jazz as well as the heavy stuff. I like that. I like that. More jazz. Okay, we've learned that Hank likes jazz. Sweet shirt, bro. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. See ya, buddy. Be good. Russian roulette. Okay, so waiting for Hank, we could have either learned about some of his interests or read the magazine, which we read, which is great. Uh, what's here? There's a whole bunch of other stuff to check. The door, obviously, we would have probably found that it was locked or he wasn't answering. Uh, that probably would have been the first thing. But, uh, yeah, okay. Call him Hank's dog, 91. Take the hippie shirt. 40 streaky shirt was most popular. Alright. 